Okay, I'm going to save it here. I'm going to save it right to my system. So it goes to my downloads area. I'm going to save it here. You can see what the BIOS number is. And it's the... Save it here. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Gives you the options where to go, how to go, directly to Gigabyte, and download the latest BIOS. Save it on the hard drive. You know where it is. It's on your download um, directory. And then from there, you're going to be able to go to uh, uh, open up this App BIOS application that you downloaded. And it should tell where to go. It'll find it, update it, and make sure that it's uh, the latest and greatest one. Let's see what happens when I run it. Okay. So I'm not going to run this right now. And okay, so I got my latest BIOS. It's put up by my system. I'm going to close this down. Got this, close it down. And we're done here. Now there's other things in here you can find out about your system. It'll tell you exactly what BIOS you have running. And if you look at this thing where it says the whole system get big, exactly what you have, how much RAM and everything else. So this BIOS looks like it was the same one that we just downloaded. So I'm not going to update that BIOS. So you can print it out, save it, whatever you need to do. Okay, so close this down. And I'm going to go ahead, close that down. And what I want to do is open up that welcome center. This is the main screen that opens up. Okay, so we got everything up, rock and roll, and good to go. Now, the one last thing we needed to load was going to be the graphic drivers. So we get, make sure we get things. It's still 1.0. Compression, yes. You can see it's still not there. So, saying that, Let's go to amd.com. Okay, get the full size here. amd.com. And you pretty much can find anything you want there for all the AMD technologies. Okay. There's the sites. Flip it around. So it comes up, you can also see it says graphic drivers, process drivers, everything else. Graphic drivers is what we want. And like I said, this is a 70, um, uh, 3870 graphic card, so that's the drivers I want to grab. And we are running a 32 bit Vista Ultimate, so it'll probably get asked me these questions in a moment. Okay, almost there. I have a very slow net connection, sorry. All right, so there we go. Vista, 30 bit, 32 bit. It's a Radeon card, and it's a 3870. Okay, there you go. Go, and she take me right in there, and this is, again, this is where it's going to take a little time. Once you go to the site, it gives you locations and options to, uh, should give me options to where I can download it. And I would do the full suite here. That's recommended. You can do individuals, but do that. I'm going to download this. I'm going to save it. If you, if you don't, again, save to my downloads. I'll save it here. And this is going to take some time. So let that run for a while. And once it's loaded, there it goes. Complete. All right, I'm going to run this thing, and I'm going to shut down these things. So I'm running it. It's going to give the option to run it. Yeah, so yes. And install. Show this down for a minute. All right, so now we got the Catalyst. You just downloaded it from AMD. You got the Catalyst drivers now. And we're going to go through this pretty quick. Once this is done, next, English, install, express is absolutely fine, hit next. Yes, you can go read through all of this, with lots of disclaimers there, accept, and that, then I want to create a folder. So you'll actually create a folder for this. Uh,
Okay, we finished this now. So it's finished, and we need to reboot the system. Okay, obviously the resolution has changed, and we're going to have to adjust that again. And then we'll go ahead and check the uh, settings and uh, update the overall performance. Okay, so I would, you know, can register. I'll register later. And if I go to the outside here, I'm going to go to person personalize. I'm going to go here, and now I'm going to be able to update it. And there's the resolution update, and you notice it actually had two because this card happens to have two. Uh, inputs. Alright, so let's go to some more details. I'm going to check the device manager up here. And here we'll see if I have any more conflicts. So, all the question marks are gone. All the conflicts have been taken care of, so that's good. Then I'm going to go here to my experience. And it says new hybrid add, so I'm going to refresh that now. So it's still 1.0, 1.0. Refresh that. Of course, I want to say continue. And this takes this takes a little time. Okay, let's see what we end up doing here. Look at that. Graphics thing, 9.5, 9.5. So those drivers made a huge difference. And if you get this new processor, which you have the new 955 Phenom 2 processor in here, which is 3.2 gigahertz. If you would have done this and it had, had old BIOS on there, it would have said more than likely it's a 1.2 gigahertz. And if you, when you update the BIOS, it brings it back up. Okay, perfect. So now let's close this down. And once we refresh this thing, it'll actually come up and it should say that it's 9.5 overall experience, which is fantastic. All right, so we loaded up the drivers. We loaded up the OS. We got everything pretty much set to go, and you are rock and rolling with a very, 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 um, very, very powerful system. So that wasn't too hard. Pretty straightforward. Now you know how to load up the Vista, load up the drivers, know where to check and see if there's any driver conflicts. And when you're there also, it also gives you the option at that device manager when you go there to update drivers or at that point. Okay? Well, again, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. And, uh, Step two down, and then the next next uh, clip I'm going to uh, have for you guys is going to be how to overclock it and overclock it safely. Thanks for your time. Have a great time. Bye now.